Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to a video in which this lady Runway Awareness System Disengage is going to do more of the talking. We'll be looking at the RAAS system in more detail. How does it work? What are the benefits of the system? And what does the Knight Rider have to do with it? No messing about and let's get started. That's what she said. <laughs> 4044, You might have heard this voice in one of my recent YouTube videos. Approaching one, five. The voice you hear in the background belongs to the RAAS, the Runway Awareness and Advisory System. Now, most planes, the RAAS is an add-on feature to the EGPWS, the Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System. Now the EGPWS is famous for its... Terrain, terrain. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull out, which you have heard and seen in air crash investigation documentaries. I hope you never get into a situation where that warning is being announced. So the EGPWS derives its position via GPS and or is fed from the aircraft flight management system with an almost worldwide terrain and obstacle database. But more importantly for the RAAS, an airport database which receives regular updates by our flight operations, hence our mechanics. So according to the aircraft position and the aircraft database, the RAAS provides visual and oral annunciations at critical points and situations. As mentioned, it's a runway awareness and advisory system. Now the RAAS oral callouts are grouped into two categories. First, you have the routine advisories, annunciations the flight crew will hear during routine operations. And secondly, the non-routine advisories or cautions the ones the crew will seldomly or perhaps never hear, hence the spicy stuff. So let's have a look at some of the routine advisories. For example, let's say we were currently taxiing at JFK towards our requested runway 04 left. Prior to reaching the holding point, we need to cross runway 31 left at intersection Kilo Echo. So once you get near 200 to 250 feet of the runway centerline at Kilo Echo holding point, she will say, approaching runway 31 left. And this will alert the crew that they are nearing a potentially active runway and an event like this could have been prevented. This is a so-called runway incursion event. Then you wait for your runway crossing clearance, turn on the strobe lights and cross the runway. Now, as you enter the runway, she will call out on runway 31 left. This yet again is a great advisory message. Imagine this scenario. You are in dense fog and crossing the runway, but are forced to stop on the runway due to traffic on the taxiway. If you don't move and don't realize that you are still on an active runway, the RAS will call out every 120 seconds on runway 31 left, notifying you that you are still on a potentially active runway. You need to inform ATC immediately about your position if they haven't yet spotted you on their ground radar blocking the runway. Okay, we then receive further taxi clearance towards runway 04 left. And she once again will say, Approaching runway 04 and left. And once you've lined up, On runway 04 left. Now let's say you're having a really bad day and you accidentally lined up via hotel onto runway 04 right. Now in this case, she would still call out the runway you're lining up on, but as you now have less than 2,000 meters of available runway, she will make you aware of that by saying, Caution, short runway. She notifies you once the available runway length is less than 2,000 meters. It's then up to you to realize you are on the wrong runway, or as a last resort, the takeoff configuration warning will go off as you advance the thrust lever for not having selected the correct runway in the FMS. Now, as an add-on, the operator can also choose to have the RAS call out Caution, short runway. If the takeoff is nevertheless initiated, but then company SOPs might force the pilots to reject the takeoff anyways. But back to our lineup on runway 04 left. Now, we are now in low visibility conditions and you just received your takeoff clearance. You advance the thrust levers, you accelerate, and about 120 knots before we won, the engine fire warning bell goes off. 
you immediately reject a takeoff, this would be classified as a high-speed RTO. Now the system immediately becomes active and will start calling out the remaining distances of the runway once there are less than 900 meters. 900 meters remaining. Yet again, a great help if you are in low visibility conditions and you can inform the fire brigade that you are, for example, 300 meters away from the runway end. That will make it so much easier for the rescue teams to locate you. So let's come back to our really bad day scenario and the crew inadvertently lines up on a taxiway parallel to the runway and commences takeoff. An oral alert, caution, on taxiway, on taxiway, is called out once the aircraft speed exceeds 40 knots. It sounds unbelievable, but such incidents have happened caused by bad weather, confusion, fatigue pilots, or improper communication with ATC. Just look at this example. Stop immediately, stop immediately, hold position. Are you stopping? Are you stopping? But the RAAS not only works on the ground, there are airborne advisories too. For instance, at a thousand feet radio altimeter height, the RAS will call out Approaching runway 2, 8, center. This yet again increases the situational awareness during IFR approaches towards airports with multiple parallel runways. Have I got the right approach set up? Am I flying towards the correct runway? Best example, Chicago O'Hare. With eight potential runways, out of which six of them are parallel to each other. <laughs> As an add-on, RAAS can be set to call out the available runway length, but this depends on an operator setting. For example, if you were to come into land on a 2000 meter runway with a Boeing 747-8, the system would give you a caution advisory. Caution, short runway, short runway. Given environmental factors and the appropriate weight, you could land on a 2000 meter runway with a 747-8, but, that's a flaw in the system, as it doesn't consider the weight of the aircraft, nor the environmental factors, such as the runway surface friction, incline and decline, wind, weather, air pressure, etc. So if you were to land, the caution advisory is considered as a strong reminder. Are you aware of what you are doing? Have you done your landing distance calculations? Is your auto brake setting correct? etc. for this short runway. Also, if you were to come in too high or too low or too fast, the system is triggered and will use the appropriate callout. For example, if you are one dot above the glide slope, the system will call out too high, too high. If you don't regain the glide slope until 500 feet above ground level, the system will expect you to perform a go around as you are unstable, unstable. Same scenario if you are too low. You missed the stabilized approach criteria and should therefore perform a go around. So the system is designed to improve flight crew situational awareness, thereby reducing the risks of runway incursions, runway confusion, and runway excursions by giving the necessary callouts. In addition to the oral enunciations provided, visual caution indications may be activated if the appropriate criteria are met, such as text enunciations displayed on the ND or PFD. In my personal opinion, this is yet again a great feature to enhance the safety of the aircraft and operating crew. I have to admit that we don't use the entire spectrum of the system as my company regularly enhances and trains our pilot monitoring skills. But if you were to have the system in a single pilot operated business jet, for example, this device is like having Kit's voice helping you in case you do something wrong. The RAAS is provided as standard on new production Boeing aircraft and can be retrofitted and approved on older aircraft types. It is basically speaking a software update to the already existing EGPWS and doesn't require any added sensors, etc. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed yet another safety related aviation video. And on that bombshell, here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check, activate the notification bell, check, follow my Instagram account, check, perform a touch and go at my website, check, and don't forget. A good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best. Your Captain Joe.